Hello and welcome to WCMU's Quiz Central. Our teams tonight are Traverse City Central, the defending champs from last year, and Owasso, so stay right there. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Good luck to both of our teams. Let's play Quiz Central. Chopin. Correct. All right, your next toss up. The lottery. Right. The stranger. You are correct. Traverse City Central hangs on. They are our season champions. Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to Quiz Central. I'm your host, Steve Smith. And as you heard in the intro there, Traverse City Central is back to defend their season championship. Trying to unseat them will be a wasso. They are two of 48 teams competing again this season. The Quiz Central teams are divided into four divisions based on school size. Each division will have a champion, and one of those teams will become this season's overall winner. They're vying for scholarships from Central Michigan University, and Rick Westover has details on that. The four starters and three alternates of the division championship teams will each receive a two-year, $4,000 room and board scholarship from Central Michigan University Residence Life. In addition, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive textbook scholarships from the CMU Bookstore. And a special thanks to CMU Enrollment and Student Services, which provides lunch for our contestants and their traveling party. All right, thank you, Rick. And with that, let's jump right into the action with the uh, maroon and gold round. Teams, you have two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. If the team ringing in misses the question, the opposing team will have a chance to respond. There's no talking among team members and correct answers are worth 10 points. Good luck to both of our teams. Here is your first question. In 2017, the House of Representatives attempted to make permanent what amendment that generally bars the use of federal funds to pay for abortions. Alex, Traverse City Central. The Hyde Amendment. That's right. What novel uses the phrase little uns to describe young children who are tended to by big uns such as Ralph and Piggy after being stranded on an island? Noah, Owasso. Lord of the Flies. You are right. What two-word term for microeconomics refers to the value of the next best alternative foregone when making a given choice? Miles, Traverse City Central. Opportunity cost. Yes, correct. What S-block element used as a neutron moderator is found in aquamarine and emerald, is the lightest alkaline earth metal, and has atomic symbol BE? Henry, Traverse City Central. Um, beryllium. That's correct. The Semper Augustus was a prized variety of what flower whose value soared as part Henry, Traverse City Central. Tulip. That's correct. What abolitionist who gave the 1852 speech, What to the Slave is the Fourth of July, also published a narrative of his life before he escaped slavery? Alex, Traverse City Central. Frederick Douglass. Right. Johanna Basford's 2013 Secret Garden popularized an adult form of what book genre, causing an increased demand for pencils to fill up its drawings? Andy, Traverse City Central. Coloring book. That is right. In 1756, 64 British prisoners of war were confined in a prison known as the Black Hole of what city, the capital of the Indian state of West Bengal? Andy, Traverse City Central. Dhaka. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Owasso. Uh, go ahead, Noah. Mumbai. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. And that takes us to the end of the first round. The answer there was Calcutta. Calcutta. All right, so a fast round there. Only one question missed, which is unusual in our first round. Traverse City Central jumps out to a quick 60 to 10 lead. And with that, we get a chance to meet our contestants. Let's start with Owasso and Noah. Hi, I'm Noah Jaffrey. I'm on the soccer, football, bowling, and golf teams. And, uh, yeah. I'm Kevin Laskowski. I'm in the Owasso Trojans Marching Band, and uh, I like bowling. My name is Aaron Jaffrey. I'm a sophomore, and I'm on the tennis and golf teams.
My name is Victor Jones. I plan on going to Kettering for college, and I enjoy playing D&D. All right, nice to have Owasso here. Your alternates are Carson Meyer, Jack Smith, and David Neese. They are coached by Janelle Steele Elkins. A nice round of applause. <laughs> All right, now to the team from Traverse City Central. Hi there, Alex. I'm Alex Olin, a senior at Traverse City Central, and two things I enjoy are football and sarcasm. I'm Andy Zalodek. I am a senior at Traverse City Central, and I am a commended National Merit Scholar. Hi, I'm Henry, and I'm a junior at Traverse City Central, and I do the morning announcements. <laughs> I'm Miles. <laughs> so. All right, Miles, nice to have you here. Miles' last name is Riddle. The alternate <laughs> is Liam Berrigan for Traverse City Central, and their coach is John Feeler. A nice round of applause. And with that, we get right back into the action with the kickoff round. The kickoff round is a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. The team that correctly answers the toss-up question will be asked one bonus, then we go back to a toss-up question for both teams. Toss-up questions need an individual response, but team members can consult on the bonus question. Captains, remember that the answers must come from you unless you defer to a colleague. Here is your first toss-up question. The command to hold a rumpus is given by Max, the wealth suit-wearing protagonist of what children's story, Miles Traverse City Central? Where the wild things are? You are right, and here is your bonus. Yeah. The act of contrition is typically said as part of what Catholic sacrament, which ends with a priest suggesting a form of penance? Is that Confession. What? Confession. Confession. Correct. Both teams now, what philosopher who collaborated with his wife Harriet Taylor on the 1869 book The Subjection of Women also wrote o on liberty and utilitarianism? Miles, Traverse City Central. David Hume. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect, Owasso. The correct answer, John Stuart Mill. Another toss-up. Amelia steals a handkerchief from Desdemona, who's consequently suspected of infidelity in what tragedy by Shakespeare? Aaron Owasso. Othello. That's correct. Here is your bonus. Sea urchins belong to what phylum of invertebrates that reproduce asexually, such as the sand dollar and starfish, whose name means spiny skin? Arthur Foda. <laughs> Arthropoda. Need an answer from yeah. the uh, coach? Uh, Arthropoda? Nope, I'm sorry. Echinodermata. All right, both teams, Kip Thorne, Rainer Weiss, and Barry Barish were awarded Nobel Prizes for improving what observatory that first detected gravitational waves in 2016? Andy, Traverse City Central. Sir? No, sorry, incorrect. Owasso. Answer is LIGO the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. Another toss-up. What author wrote about a statue of Peter the Great that comes to life in the Bronze Horseman? Alex, Traverse City Central. Nabokov. Nope, sorry. How about Owasso? Answer is Pushkin, Alexander Pushkin. Paris kidnapped Helen, the beautiful wife of what king of Sparta? And that would be, I'm sorry, oh no, a little late, Menelaus is the answer. Another toss-up, what man who with George Norris names a law banning yellow dog contracts was New York's mayor from 1934 to 1945 and names one of its airports? Alex, Traverse City Central. LaGuardia. Correct. A bonus for Traverse City Central. What royal house of German origin was the house of such British monarchs as George III and Victoria? Hess. Hess? Yeah. Hess. Okay. Uh, well, it was a bonus. It was the house of Hanover is the answer. All right. Here is a toss-up for both teams. St. Patrick used what plants three leaves as a symbol of the Holy Trinity? Andy, Traverse City Central. Clover. Nope, sorry, incorrect. How about a Owasso? Aaron, go ahead. Shamrock? You, you are right. Here is a bonus question. What geologic features, which typically form an orogeny as the result of a collision between two continental plates, include the Himalayas? Mountain. Right. 
All right, toss-up question. What city, the historic center of the British cotton processing industry, is the second most populous urban area in England? Henry, Traverse City Central. Liverpool. I'm sorry, incorrect. How about Owasso? The end. Uh, go ahead, Noah. Manchester. That's right. Here is a bonus. What surname is shared by the Prime Minister who patriated Canada's constitution and ended the October crisis, as well as Canada's current PM? Trudeau. Trudeau? Correct. All right, back to both teams. Jimmy Hoffa, who mysteriously disappeared in 1975, led what labor union? Alex Traverse City Central. Teamsters. That's right, and a bonus. What novella in which Curly's wife lets a farmhand stroke her hair ends with George shooting his friend Lenny and was written Mice by John Steinbeck? Of Mice and Men? Yep, that's correct. Another toss-up question. What property of the greater than relation means that if A is greater than B and B is greater than C, then A must be greater than C? Andy, Traverse City Central. Commutative property? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Noah? The associative property. Nope, I'm sorry, transitive property would have been the correct answer. And that brings us to the end of our round there. Traverse City Central moves ahead 110 to 60. That gives us a chance to take a break. When we come back, we'll see if either team can score a perfect 10, so don't go away. Our great state of Michigan is truly one of a kind. From the city streets to the small towns, you can see it all right here on Destination Michigan. We'll crisscross the state in search of the sights, the sounds, and of course, the people that make Michigan the greatest state in the land. Take in the scenery, meet the people, and experience the wonder of the Great Lakes State. Come along with us as we share your stories on Destination Michigan. Unlock your newest member benefit. Over 1,000 episodes of your favorite PBS shows. American Masters, Antiques Roadshow, Nature, Nova, Masterpiece. Watch the best of PBS anytime, anywhere. Become a member, sign in, and start streaming today. Welcome back to Quiz Central and the Perfect 10 round. Teams, the Perfect 10 gives you 60 seconds to answer 10 questions from your choice of clues to three categories. The opposing team gets 30 seconds to tackle all unasked, missed, or passed questions. Traverse City Central has the lead, so Owasso, you will be going first. Today's clues to the categories are electronic numbers, brilliant bridge building, and popularity contest. Electronic Numbers, Brilliant Bridge Building, and Popularity Contest. Which one will it be? Electronic Numbers. Electronic Numbers, okay. And that category is Valence Electrons. How many Valence Electrons are there in an atom of hydrogen? One. one. Yes. Carbon? Four. Four. Yep. Oxygen? Six. Right. Xenon. Eight. Yep. Nitrogen. Five. Correct. Sulfur. Six. Yep. Boron. Five. Nope. Fluorine. Seven. Correct. Lead. Four. Yep. And iron, including its half-filled D subshell. Six. No, sorry, incorrect. Came close. Two questions left, Traverse City Central. How many valence electrons are there in an atom of boron? Three. Yep. And iron, including its half-filled D subshell? One. I'm guessing it's two or three. Six. Two. Two. Nope, I'm sorry. Seven would have been the correct answer. All right, so that takes us now to the second round of the Perfect Ten. This time, Traverse City Central has their choice of the remaining categories, and those are Brilliant Bridge Building and Popularity Contest. Which one will it be for you? Okay, Popularity Contest. Popularity Contest. And the category is Counties. Name the U.S. state that is home to the most populous counties with these names. Miami-Dade. 
Florida. Florida. Right. Cook. Illinois. Illinois. Yup. Orange. California. California. Yup. Harris. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Pennsylvania. Nope. Wayne. Michigan. Yup. Michigan. Westchester. New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. New Hampshire. Nope. Hennepin. Massachusetts. Delaware. Massachusetts. What do you think, Andy? Andy? Delaware. Nope. Uh, Fairfax. Virginia. Virginia. Yup. Allegheny. Pennsylvania. Correct. And Cuyahoga. Uh, Ohio. Ohio. Correct. All right. Those are the questions. Owasso, you get 30 seconds on the clock to name the U.S. state that is home to the most populous counties with these names. Harris. Uh, Indiana. Indiana. Nope. Westchester. New York. New York. Correct. Hennepin. Minnesota. That is correct. All right. The only one we missed out of all of that was Harris County, and that would be in the state of Texas. All right. So that takes us to the end of our perfect 10 round. Uh, actually, Owasso is narrowing things up here. We have a 30 point game, a 190 to 160. And with that, we move on into the home stretch round. Again, like round two, this is a combination of toss up and bonus questions. I'll ask one toss up question. The team that answers correctly will be asked one bonus. Then we go back to a toss up question for both teams. Here is your first toss up question. 2020 presidential candidate Seth Moulton is a congressman from what state? Governed Alex Traverse City Central. Massachusetts. Right, and a bonus. Inductors resist changes in what quantity that is very high in an open circuit, represents the flow of charge, and may be direct or alternating? Current. That's right. Okay, both teams. The small community of Bytown developed into what Canadian capital? Alex, Traverse City Central. Ottawa. That's right, and another bonus. What battle was the bloodiest battle fought by the Soviet Union in World War II? Stalingrad. Yeah, Stalingrad. Stalingrad. You are correct. All right, what man who was U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations from 2005 to 2006? Go ahead, Alex. Bol That's Bolton. Right, and that didn't last long either, did it? All right, <laughs> here is another uh, a bonus question. What unit is called a Shannon when measuring information entropy is grouped into octets or bytes? It must be true or false or equivalently one or zero. That, that's correct. All right, both teams. A Kate Bush song compares love to being chased by what animals, which according to a song popularized by Elvis Presley, you ain't nothing but. Andy, Dog. Traverse City Central. Dogs. I uh, need to be more specific. Town dogs. That's correct. All right, here is the bonus. What North American city whose block-shaped Habitat 67 apartment complex was built along the St. Lawrence River and is home to the NHL's Canadians? Montreal. Montreal. That's right. Both teams. Which quantity equals the time derivative of angular momentum and is the rotational analog of force? Andy, Traverse City Central. Torque. Right, and another bonus. What biblical character who disobeys God by sailing to Tarshish instead of going to Nineveh is thrown overboard and swallowed by a great fish? Jonah. Right. All right, both teams on a toss-up. The 2016 Nobel Peace Prize went to what then president of Colombia who had negotiated a peace treaty with the FARC guerrilla movement? All right, the answer there is Juan Manuel Santos. Another toss-up. What European country, home to Diocletian's palace at Split, contains the regions of Istria and Dalmatia? Miles, Traverse City Central. Croatia. That is correct. And another bonus. What team won the NFC Championship game in 2019 on the road in New Orleans and Rams. scored three points Rams. in yeah. a Super Bowl 53 loss Los to Angeles the New Rams. England Patriots? Los Angeles Rams. That is correct. All right, toss-up. Comic Kyojin plays are often presented alongside what type of classical Japanese play on serious themes? Henry, Traverse City Central. Kabuki. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Let me finish it. The, uh, the serious themes that precede Kabuki. What would be your answer, Owasso? Any idea? Noah. Kabuto. Nope, I'm sorry. No is the answer. Another toss-up. <laughs> 
What insect model organism which undergoes a white eye mutation was studied by Thomas Hunt Morgan at Columbus University? Miles, Traverse City Central. Flies. Uh, more specific? Fruit flies. That's correct. Here is a bonus. What animal is a national symbol of Scotland and is a mythical horse-like creature with a single horn? Unicorn. 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 There you go. All right. Uh, here is a toss-up that we will not get to. So at the end of the home stretch, uh, we are going to take another break. And when we come back, we will play the final countdown. So stay with us. Preschool gives children the foundation they need to be successful in school and in life. But more than half of kids in the U.S. do not have the opportunity to attend a pre-K program, making them 25% more likely to drop out of school before graduation. The PBS Kids 24-7 channel provides quality programming, games, and hands-on activities that are proven to develop early learning skills. When you say the word PBS, immediately quality comes to mind. And not just quality, but a massive cultural diversity. Everybody here in the United States gets a look at a global culture, which is phenomenally presented. What makes PBS so strong is that it is a product of the support of the public. It stands out as a public service. It reaches out and grabs a nation and it grabs a world, and I think that's wonderful. All right, this is it, the Quiz Central Final Countdown. It's another two-minute rapid-fire round. The first player to ring in gets a shot at answering the question. If you get it wrong, we turn to the opposing team for a chance to answer. Here is your first question. 26 malignant gates and feathers from a thousand Lee away are sections of what 1980 novel by Amy Tan? Andy, Traverse City Central. Fish Cheeks. Nope, sorry, incorrect, Owasso. We'll find out in just a minute. In what year was a stricter Fugitive Slave Act enacted and California admitted as a free state? Andy, Traverse City Central? 1848. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. I'll finish the question. Was uh, California admitted as a free state as part of a namesake legislative compromise? A Nope. Oh, go ahead, Noah. 1872. Nope, sorry, that's also incorrect. What animal's name follows naked, liquid, and solid in the code names Noah Awaso? Mole rat. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. I'll finish it. Okay, Miles, go ahead, Traverse City Snake. Central. That's correct. What term coined by Frederick Soddy from the Greek for same place refers to atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons? Andy, Traverse City Central. Isotopes. That's correct. In 1973, thousands died in Philadelphia of an epidemic of what colorfully named disease caused by an RNA virus? Andy, Traverse City Central. Yellow fever. Correct. What musical work featuring 16 cannon shots depicts the Battle of Borodino and is a Peter Illich Tchaikovsky overture named for the year? Miles, Traverse City Central. 1812 overture. That is correct. In the 1970s, Phyllis Schlafly galvanized conservative women into successfully opposing what proposed? Andy, Traverse City Central. Equal Rights Amendment. That's right. What author of the autobiographical travel book, Roughing It, wrote about the engineer Hank Morgan in a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court? All right, next question. And we won't get to it. The answer to that question was Mark Twain. But Traverse City Central hangs on for a handy win there. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Uh, the only uh, questions beyond that that we missed, the, um, the 1989 novel by Amy Tan was the Joy Luck Club. And the year that was a stricter fugitive slave act enacted was 1850. So you were both on either side of that. But that does it for our game. Another well-played game by both teams. Let's give them a both a nice round of applause. And that does it for this edition of Quiz Central. Until next time, like us on Facebook or watch your favorite game online as we feature the best and brightest high school students from around the state. Thanks for tuning in. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. 
t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center. 